So, YouTube voice on. Uh, the majestic, glorious leader Harada is actually in my chat there. What? Using my emotes? Oh my, he's a sub as well. Oh, Jesus. Seriously, I'm gonna faint. I am going to faint. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, thanks so much again, Harada. Uh, what we're gonna do today is talk a little bit about uh, Li Shaolan, who is uh, very different in uh, Season 3. If you ask I'm your father, uh, yeah, to say that he dislikes the changes is the understatement of a century. I actually watched his stream archives and I, he literally cried when he saw the changes to Li. He was reduced to a sobbing pile of excrement, lying on the floor, caressing himself, trying desperately, you know, to cheer himself up. Uh, you probably shouldn't watch it because I felt my testosterone drop uh, numerous percentage. <laughs> no. uh, I'm your father. Like I, I, I understand him because. Uh, if Kazia took enormous nerves, it's not like I would. Uh, be super <laughs> excited by that but um, so I'm gonna try and explain what has happened to Lee and this is something I talked about a lot in my um, in my video about him that I released like a month ago or two months ago while standing 2-3 the combo into Ford Ford 3 I always felt it was too hard but this is Li Shaolan's identity. It is supposed to be hard. And that's what we... It's supposed to be hard. That's what we enjoy so much about Li. It is who he is. It's his identity as a character. Uh, but I never really understood why this basic thing here was so hard, considering it doesn't give you an enormous reward. What you get is 54 damage. So, it was almost like they heard my prayer at Bandai Namco and they made Ford Ford 3 um, two frames faster. It goes from 16 frames in speed to 14, making the follow-up combo here, like, quite easy to do. And if you're close to a wall, you, you even have time to, like, if you're fast enough, like, wall splat them. Um, let's see if I can get it. You see? So that serves almost like a, a buff there to the damage, but uh, you'll never drop that again. And anyone can do that. Um, and for example, some lead players showed me if you do it quickly at the wall here after Ford for free, if they move, you know, do anything. Yeah. Uh, you, you'll get it. Uh, so it opens up more possibilities for Lee. Uh, it's a good mid. Now it's it's just super fast. So definitely a buff, and uh, it just makes your life so much easier with Lee. So this is nice. Um, and I'm gonna show a couple of more changes where it's just easier to play Lee, but they've actually nerfed his uh, maximum output. So what you have. Is a character that is easier to play than Season 2 Lee, but not as strong once you become a really solid player. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Lee, you know, whose identity was, look how hard I am, has become technically easier, losing some of that identity, but he has surely not lost the part of his identity that says he sucks. Because Season 2 Lee is much stronger than Season 3 Lee. Uh, so that, in a nutshell, is what has happened to the character Lee. But I I'm gonna try and break it down now. So Ford Ford 3 was a big thing. And also making it easier, down for 2, when you get the launch, it's like the opponent gets sucked in. They are very close to you. So it is quite easy to go for the big, big combos. Uh, definitely quality of life improved uh, and then for up free you can now mist step transition out of it like so opening up some new combo utility but to be honest 
the classic combo works fine. I don't know, maybe we'll see some Lee Genius do something epic with it, but to me it's like... I don't know. And his new move, Forward 4-1, for which is complete garbage in the neutral, it serves as a high follow-up to Forward 4, where you have, pri prior to this game, you've had Forward 4-3, for which is... Thank you so much, Benny the Buff. Thank you Keep so much. Good work. Love your vids. I also love my vids. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't watch myself at all. Uh, thanks so much. But uh, forward for free is high mid, and now you got a high high. But I'm gonna show you why this move is very risky. And uh, let's see. It, it's it's not a natural combo. <laughs> If your opponent ducks that, you die. And might as well duck it because what do you risk with the mid follow-up? 18 damage. And if you guess it guess right, 100 damage when you while standing launch Lee. And of course, if you're crazy enough to push a button, you know, in between the moves, yeah, he gets a counter at launch. But yeah, Ford 4 1 in the neutral. And uh, not a fantastic move to say the least. It does make his combos easier, though. You can just do that very easily. And this, again, reminds me of my Lee video where I talked about him in Tag 2 and how Ford for free was, was such a good bound move and that it hurt him to lose it. And now he has it again. Super easy. But again, if you can do the Season 2 combos, you get more damage. So, I don't know. I do know it has opened up bigger combos that are not practical for matches like this. YouTube curse, I didn't do it first attempt. Like so. That's gonna open up big damage, but you're not gonna do that in matches. Uh, in real matches. Uh, so this was how they've simplified Lee and how his new move is not going to be all that great for Lee players who know what we're doing. Uh, and now let's look at the nerfs. And uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, wow is all I can say. Uh, so this was the Acid Rain. His season 2 10 frame punish that gives a guaranteed blazing kick. And if you do it from the side... It gave a guaranteed combo. Oh. You could do back free free to pick them up from the side. If you check out I'm your father, you know, he, he, he would do that reliably. Every time. He would hook, 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 hook from the side, back free free, launch. And from the front, it wasn't hard to do. Blazing kick. Now what has happened is that one free free free, which is a just frame and very hard to do, the whole thing recovers four frames slower, and this has made it so that you can no longer, from the side, get a combo. And the Blazing Kick follow-up that was always guaranteed in Season 2 is much stricter in Season 3. You can still get it, but it's very tight, and there's a good chance you'll, you'll fuck it up. Have your Blazing Kick blocked, and then you'll be right next to your enemy and launch Punishable. So, uh... Yeah, it's, uh, it's much harder. You see, I fucked it up. So, <laughs> in my opinion, a very unnecessary nerf. This 10 frame punish was really cool. Really cool. And... You know, Season 2 Lee is not a strong character. He's okay, but he's so he's so hard to use compared to his efficiency, his maximum output. You know, it's too much work. Might as well play someone else. But Lee enthusiasts, they love this stuff. You know, it made it worth it. But when you remove this, it's like he loses his identity. And it's not like this was OP. So I'm, I'm very sad to see that go. Um, it sucks. And then, massive nerf. Uh, Lee has a power crush from Hitman, which is a high, but his mid power crush, back 3-4, four, 
it's launch punishable at minus 15, but it used to have pushback. They removed the pushback. There's no pushback at all. So you're standing right next to your opponent at minus 15. Hey TMM, hope you and your family are doing well. I heard that Parada was watching your stream. Hi hard ROE love you BTW <laughs> if you still here. <laughs> that pronunciation was glorious. Thank you so much Chapter O. Yeah, uh, God himself uh, was watching my stream. I don't know if Harada is still here, but a huge honor. A huge honor indeed to have him here. Uh, so his power crush is now completely useless, basically. This is... I don't know why this happened. I have no idea. I have no idea. Uh, and next on the list, it is something he got for um, Season 3. It's while sending 3-3 free free into Hitman, a conversion. And now you're like, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it is. Except while sending 3-3 free free is minus 4 on hit. There's not a single thing you can do here that's not gonna get interrupted by a big blazing kick to the face. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> it's not amazing. And then in another nerf that has Lee players still scratching their head ever since Monday when Season 3 was released. They are still sitting like this. Wondering why this nerf happened. But his Ford Ford 4, in season 2 on normal hit, it knocks down like this. And you, you do back 3-3 free free to get a pickup. But on counter hit in season 2, it would stagger the opponent. Ugh! And you can do a big, big combo, you know, and you don't get the weird angle. There's nothing hard about the combo. They removed that stagger. So that on counter hit, you also get the same effect as a normal hit. So you again have to do a hard combo to get anything and look at the angle. Good luck getting a fucking wall combo. Oops. Yeah, can you tell I'm not a lead player? So, uh, again, to me, I have no idea why they did that. Uh, and then we've talked about 4-4-1, the new move, how that sucks. And then, again, they removed um, Acid Storm, is a pretty nice 15 frame launch rate, if you ask me. I really, I really like it. Looks so cool. Still remember the Tekken 5 trailer. So, yes, this was before most of you were born. This was one of the moves they really highlighted in the trailer. Like, ha 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 ha! It's so cool. But um, it's quite punishable, but it has pushback on block. It's always had pushback on block. This was removed. So now it's like he, he sucks them in. You see? Making it much more vulnerable on block. Much more vulnerable. So again, I don't know why. Um, and then we have another significant nerf. Down free is pretty much his go-to low. And this is a character that doesn't have a shitload of viable lows. Uh, he just doesn't. And down free converts it into hitman and into pressure. And it's minus 15. It is launch punishable. A lot of people don't know this. Launch punishable low. Minus 15. But it used to track to both sides. And what they've done is they, they have actually removed the tracking to one side. Uh, this is... Uh, again, I do not know why. It's not like Lee is overpowered. Quite the opposite. So we're gonna test this now. You see, it tracks to that side. But we removed the tracking to that side. Used to track both sides. Uh, so yeah, we are all scratching our heads. Easier to use. 
Okay, so Lee loses some of his identity. You know, you used to be this super hardcore character. Huh? He lost some of that. And his overall output is weaker. He's a weaker character than in Season 2. Uh, but last thing I want to show is actually a buff. Yay! Which is really cool. Which is his uh, parry. Now actually has a guaranteed follow-up. Because that kick is now mid. It used to be high. So people could duck it. So now, Kamun. You get a guaranteed uh, mid roundhouse to their face. And if they press any buttons, try to, you know, turn around and dick jab on counter hit, this will actually screw. I try and get the timing. <gasps> Leo. Oh, you bastard, please. Okay, so you can't bound, but uh, yeah, you see, it's uh, pretty cool, actually. But uh, yeah, that new guaranteed damage on the parry is sure as hell not going to save Lee. He is definitely weaker than he is in Season 2, and I would say less fun to play because they've removed so much of a hardcore aspect of a character, like the utility of uh, the Acid Rain, and... Um, the difficulty of using Ford Ford Free and combos. But yeah, I, I, I requested that to be easier. Um, and down for two easier. Ford for one will serve as an easy option to bound for a lot of people. So, uh, yeah, that's a breakdown of Lee in Season 3. Hope you all enjoyed it.